Jimmy. Sorry. I, I feel like yeah, I'm in this more often than you think, so. <laughs> Yeah, you get to take those white turns. First curb. Hit. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do when you are carless. Riding out on the Vespa to go get some food with some friends. Yeah, let's get wet. I wanted to show you her cool helmet. Safety first. Safety first, kids. <laughs> always, always. But I'm um, really excited because we're at the Ford dealership. Yep. We... Might get kicked out. Well, I mean, look at how you look. <laughs> you look adorable. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Very sexy. <laughs> turning me on. Oh, uh, we gotta go. You're turning me on. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go look at some trucks. We need we got the the big toy hauler, road warrior. That's coming, but uh, now we need something to pull it with. Because her little Benzy. The Benzie ain't it's gonna, not gonna work. cut it. Nope. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go look at some trucks. Eww. I think the Ford is definitely one of the sexiest trucks out there. We are at the Ford dealership. What do you think, baby? silver one <laughs> so we're looking at dualies because we have a beast to tow so we need at least a dually 350 we need long bed 4x4 four four. that's to help you uh, get in we hold this is a step Just waiting for some sales people. Found a truck that's open. You ready ride with me, baby? Woo! Are you ready to ride with me? No. Talk to me. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you need some training before driving. <laughs> it's a lot of snacks that we can put in there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Four cup holders. That's important. Really nice interior. Yeah. Seats are comfy. Yes. More cup holders. So this is a 350 Lariat. 4x4 four four long bed. To charge your phones over here. Oh nice. There's all kinds of inputs yeah it's pretty cool yes and you got switches for that's yeah i can see myself driving this beast <laughs> yep i can definitely see myself driving look for your glasses my glasses speaker right here What is this for? That's, <laughs> that's for the trailer brakes. <laughs> what else can I do? Can I remove all these things? Can hide things in there? Okay, power. AC power plug. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't need to do that too. Oh, yeah. What else? What's in here? storage here. Got a, good, lot of, a lot of good storage. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it might be a good sign. <laughs> there you go, baby. Let's do this. Alrighty. You excited? Let's do it. Let's do this. All right. <sighs> so you have the controls for the AC or you can use the touch control on the display screen as well. Cool. Are you guys used to driving big trucks? Yeah. Um, yes. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm like, oh, I'm almost getting terrified when I drive a big truck, to be honest with you guys. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've driven, I don't, I haven't owned a big truck, but I've, throughout the years, driven a lot of big things, towed a lot of big things, so. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. The outside mirrors, uh, Sean, they, it's cool, they slide outside the, for the land, which is pretty cool. They what? They, they slide. If you need to open single slide. Gotcha. Better uh, visibility, you could definitely see it. So oh. there you go. They go in and out. Oh, it's so cool. There, there you go. Because so when you head to the left, it turns to the left. When you head to the right, it turns to the right. So it's okay, so you put it in the middle. In and the middle. Boom. Correct. That's cool. It's too bad they don't make it automatic. Automatic. Because on these trucks, they just stick out so far. But that is cool. Yeah. This was our first actual test drive of a dually, and uh, we leaned towards the Ford originally because of its awesome looks. Um, I love the looks. It looks classy yet mean, and um, it got a lot of great ratings, and uh, my father has an F-150, and he loves it. But um, we wanted to check out other trucks, and we did so, and um, I have to say that the Ford definitely drove um, very well compared to everything else that we drove, and uh, we absolutely absolutely love this truck and couldn't find anything really wrong with it. Pretty smooth, huh? That was what I was just going to say. Pretty smooth ride. No, the black is just tough to keep looking nice. Yeah, you know? that is. But the black looks sweet. It's it looks good when it's rainy though, right? Yeah. I honestly yeah. don't think you can go wrong with any of the big brands. Um, if you get something new, they're all absolutely amazing trucks. We checked out the Dodge, which is known to have the most towing power, and uh, looks pretty sweet too, and it has all the cool technology as well. Check this baby out. One thing we really liked about the Ford and the Dodge is it has two rear view cameras. It has an extra one, so you can actually see yourself hooking up the fifth wheel attachment, which is really sweet. Have essentially, your first step into the real luxury of it. Okay, yep. there is a model above this called Laramie Longhorn, and then you have what we call Laramie Longhorn Limited, which even steps up even more. However, on the Laramie Longhorn Limited, you're only available to get a black interior. Okay, they do not give you a lighter color option. Okay, you may have seen also the Longhorn editions. They're kind of like the cowboy themed ones with the filigree and whatnot. All right, essentially you're going to have everything identical to this one, except you're not going to have that option for that filigree interior or the cattle tan. Okay, so kind of tones it down a little bit from the Western theme that they have going for. You'll have the heated and ventilated seat option in here with the heated option for the back, all right? And you're going to have a solid start. You'll be able to go ahead and utilize the connect system for the navigation as well as for all your Wi-Fi connections if you so wish. Full EVIC system, all right, for readouts of the vehicle, especially when it comes to like your DEF fluid levels, okay, timing, if you need to go ahead and keep monitor that, you know, not for commercial, you won't really have to just make a right on yeah, we'll go straight on up, we'll make a right, we'll go down for a bit so you get a feel for it. With the 3500, okay, you will utilize the leaf spring in the back, okay, so that does go ahead and give you the uh, higher payload capacity and in turn is able to increase the towing capacity as well. All right, however, when it's empty, you are going to have a truck like ride because it's going to give that hop, so, yep. But other than that, they've done some real, real fine adjustments to it to cut down on, you know, a lot of the excess bump you get from the front and, of course, the interior giving you the quiet ride that you'll get when you're cruising to high speeds, too. <laughs> yes. You can see the facial reaction as you try to breathe. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <you're doing> it. <laughs> Looked a little stressed there, you know? Yeah, just a little bit. We're, we're can in. only imagine when I'm pulling the trailer. Yeah. You'll be like, ah! I'll have to get even sleep before I. <laughs> no, I don't think I could ever go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> A little different than the Benzie, huh? Oh, totally different than the Benzie. <laughs> yeah, especially because it's so much higher up. Is it higher than your uh, FJ too? No, but uh, it's probably close. What did you have done? What kind of lift did you have on here? I had a just a three and a half inch lift, thirty-three okay. inch. Sorry, so 
tires. Um, yeah, it just was low enough to get into get parking into garages stuff, yep. like that. Gotcha. <laughs> How you doing, babe? Amazing. How do I look? <laughs> I look badass driving this machine. <laughs> Lady, don't get my wife. Speed racer, so I'm it's trying. Good. Get you up there, no problem, real quick. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah. We don't want to. <laughs> we don't want. Yeah, 900 to pounds constantly. of torque gets you moving real fast, especially when you're up things up. Yeah. And they have done various different tests on them. Of course, obviously we had the shootouts with the Ram versus the Ford versus the GMC and the Chevy. And uh, I'll tell you, with the 6.7 Ram, it tops them all the time. You know, not only with you know the pulling power, but also with the drivability of it. You know, like when you're getting up into you know, mountainous areas, like especially when you guys shoot up in Vermont and whatnot, and you're cutting through yeah. the Carolinas and Georgia and everything like that. If you go that way, you know, it's uh, you know, it'll get up and down, no problem. You're not gonna be sitting in high gears, revving real high. The motor's not gonna be working real hard. So it just sits yeah. there and pulls, which is nice. Feel comfortable. Super comfortable. Like the only thing I'm thinking is like, how do you back up in this thing? Like this is humongous. Actually, it's very, very easy. The nice thing is, is when you have those large mirrors, you got the camera, you have the sensors in the back and the front. I mean, it, it basically kind of guides itself, you know, right into it. And the turning radius on this is phenomenal too. Um, so I mean, you can really fine tune getting in, especially you know when you're hooking up or even when you're empty parking in just in a parking spot. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple and easy to do, you know. A lot of people, you know, they uh, we actually had one of these on the showroom floor, and uh, you know nobody wanted to bring it through the doors or nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, I got this, just right in, right yeah. around, whipping around. That's Everybody's cool. like cringing. I'm like, hey, it, you know, don't have to move everything. It just fits perfectly, even though it's such a large truck. Wide, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I, I feel like it I'm happens more often than you think. So. <laughs> yeah, you get to take those wide turns. First so. curb. Yep. <laughs> Do you expect anything less than that? Eh? Oh boy. Oh yeah. Are you in for this, baby? Okay, why? Why? Yeah. There, there you go. Oh, cut this. You only need to do it once. <laughs> Right where that. All right, we survived. We survived. <laughs> we survived. Oh, all right. <laughs> Come Actually, on. if you want, since you mentioned it, go ahead and take the left. All right, but I'm gonna have you back up to the doors, okay? So that way you can see what I was talking about with how easy it is to actually do it. All. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> Alright, perfect. So, right here, we'll go ahead and put it in reverse. I just and just get your dial in, get your, all your, uh, what you dog, okay. your bearings. So, you see your camera, of course. Okay. Alright, you got your big mirrors. Okay. And those are dynamic grid lines, so they do turn and guide you into spots, okay, when you are backing up. Now, keep in mind those lines as they're guiding you. You see, you got lots of room. The green is obviously where we want to go to. Perfect. Ooh. Straighten out, go right on back. Go ahead, all the way back, so that way we don't block the entrance. All the way back? Yep. I'm not used to looking at our cameras. So like <laughs> well, at obviously, the you want to use your mirrors, okay? But that's there to help you out, especially when you're backing up, because then you are going to be able to see exactly where you're at. At the bottom of that mirror, that is your bumper, okay? Now, there's the first thing I want you to hear, okay? You do have the sensors, so as you back up progressively, you'll start to get tones in larger distance. Mm -hmm. As you get closer, it'll go ahead and come to a solid tone. When it gets to South Town, you want to stop. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> because like I said, where that red is, there's your bumper. Okay. Now you can get this literally right up to it. I mean, when you put the hitch ball on there, mm -hmm. all right, you'll see it clear as day, which okay. isn't going to be for you guys because you got you're using a fifth wheel. But in case you do need it, you know, you just hook right up and you can take it and hook it right up to any kind of trailer that you have after too. And then, and then of course, yep, you got your camera and you can also see you got your fifth wheel uh, mounting points there. Okay. And then you can go ahead and put your direct mount in there or the kingpin however you set it all up. Yeah, that's Ooh. nice. Switch back and forth between them. Yep. All right, bye. We survived.